If you manufacture, distribute, import, or market a product, have you ever considered what you would do if a product was found to be faulty, dangerous, or contained a harmful substance? How would you withdraw a product from the marketplace? How would you notify your customers of a potentially dangerous product? How would you finance the cost of these types of activities? What if a government agency like the Consumer Product Safety Commission came knocking at your door insisting the removal of a product that you sell or distribute? How would you comply? How would you afford to undertake a potentially massive expense? Well, product recall insurance may be the answer. Product recall insurance is commonly purchased by firms in the manufacturing and distribution of food and beverage products, other consumable products like pharmaceuticals and its near cousin nutraceuticals, consumer goods like clothing, furniture, outdoor goods, electronics, household appliances, children's goods, and many others. And finally, firms that manufacture component parts that end up being incorporated into another company's final product. This policy covers the costs associated with recalling a product, including things like notifying customers, physically removing the product from store shelves, destroying that harmful product, reimbursing customers for their costs, and many other costs. Product recall insurance shouldn't be confused with product liability insurance. They are two separate types of policies, and here's why. Product liability insurance, which is part of your company's general liability policy, covers you and your company from lawsuits and claims which allege that a product you made or sold caused bodily injury or property damage to a third party, the claimant. It does not cover you for any costs associated with a recall, even if there's the potential of similar lawsuits to follow from the product which caused the original lawsuit. Product recall insurance, on the other hand, covers you and your company for the costs associated with recalling a potentially harmful product from the marketplace and does not pay any claims of bodily injury or property damage made by third parties. Most policy forms do not require government mandate to withdraw a product to trigger coverage. Coverage is often triggered by the imminent threat or the actual occurrence of bodily injury or property damage. Now, I strongly recommend that small businesses should consider buying product recall coverage, and I define small businesses as firms with less than $20 million in revenue. Why do I feel strongly that small businesses should buy product recall insurance? Well, because smaller firms are often thinly capitalized and unable to sustain the shock of recall costs, which can be enormous. You gotta consider that in a recall, a firm will spend huge sums to recapture the product off of shelves and from customers and either replace that product with unimpaired product or reimburse the customers for their loss. In addition, business interruption losses will occur as a plant is brought offline to find the source of the recall. That means massive loss of revenue. In food and beverage accounts, this can mean weeks of scrubbing pathogens and contaminants from plant and machinery. Keep in mind that this type of business interruption and your loss of income is not covered under your property policy's business interruption insurance. Then you've got costs associated with rehabbing your brand, which is going to be damaged in a wide ranging recall. You may even need crisis counseling so that when your CEO is called out for interviews, they're coached on what to say and what not to say. And all of these costs can cripple small firms. So insurance is a wise decision to safeguard the company balance sheet. Want to learn more? Click the Let's Chat button at the top of this page and we can connect. Don't worry, if you're just interested in learning more and you're not sure you're really going to need this insurance, you're not going to get a high pressure sales call from me. I'm here to help you make the most informed decisions you have on product recall insurance as well as any other business insurance issues. Thanks for watching and I look forward to speaking with you soon.